Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will talk about AWS Pricing Calculator. Now, the goal is to understand how AWS Pricing Calculator works. Uh, we will perform a task to estimate a cost for EC2 instances and S3 storage. And finally, we will create and export and share the cost estimation report that we generate from it. Now, AWS Pricing Calculator is uh, not within the AWS console, but it is a completely uh, different uh, website based services. So you can just go to um, AWS Calculator um, and just yeah, and just click the first link that you get it. Uh, it is calculator.aws and you will uh, get this particular interface. Okay. Now let's start with the calculation. Just create an estimate over here. And uh, we can do different AWS services we can find, right? So uh, you got all the AWS resources or services uh, that you can compute a calculate uh, or cost for. Now let's just go for our EC2 machine for now and uh, configure this. So uh, what kind of uh, EC2 machine that you're gonna use? So there are different type of EC2 instances. You got dedicated host, dedicated instances, or shared instances. So normally in our lab, we have used the shared instances for now, uh, but also uh, in case of any requirement that is related to dedicated host, then you can select these options as well. Uh, just go for a shared instance right now. What kind of the operating system that you're gonna use? So depending upon the operating system, you're gonna have different charge as well. So for example, like uh, operating system like uh, Red Hat or operating system like uh, Windows Server, it might be extra charge depending upon which system that you are going to use. Okay, so uh, we're just going to go with the Linux server right now. Linux are mostly free. Uh, how many instances that we're going to compute for? Let's say uh, we are planning for 10 instances, right? And then uh, it now what is the type of instance? So generally, uh, uh, for for the video purposes, we, we, we will be using T2 Micro because it is the uh, free of course EC2 instance in a free tier or maybe the lowest one. But yeah, uh, whatever instance that you want, you can just search it. Uh, there are different instances over here. You have multiple pages you can go through. So depending upon the instances, how much RAM, how much network or CPU that you're going to use. So let's say I want uh, 96 uh, CPU. So this is this going to be cost a lot. And it, you can also see like uh, per hourly cost is like uh, four, four pounds or maybe this is on American dollar, let's see. Yeah, the region is in USA. So this calculation is for uh, US currency. Uh, so you can also choose different uh, regions and uh, within the regions you can choose different availability zones as well. So yeah, uh, let's go for London in this case. And the cost will be different because depending upon the location, there will be different taxes, uh, different uh, you know, uh, different market demands. So depending upon all those things, the cost will be different. Uh, now, as a uh, AWS architect, you need to understand uh, where is what is the most cost optimal solution for you. So till now, you can see our cost is twenty point four four per month because we have used 10 instances and we selected one from here let me just select this one uh, last instance so you can see it will the cost will be 18,000 American dollar okay uh, okay so we also got different paying scheme like do you want to pay it on on demand so on demand would be much more heavy cost you can see 35,000 for the same instances or if you want to pay off front like you pay first and you're going to use it um, uh, in a in a you know uh, like in a three years so this might cost you per month 18,000 but if you go for the uh, on-demand like whenever you use it then uh, you're gonna get charged then this would be most costly that is because like um, you know so uh, it is showing you uh, the time frame and the monthly uses right so that's the thing uh, we also got spot instances over here. So spot instance is something that we use uh, generally for non uh, stateless kind of a work where we don't really care uh, our instance are uh, you know it might get shot down at any, any time. So those kind of workload uh, then spot instances are used and 
uh, so recombinant for fault or interruption right uh, so any application that is okay to be interrupted then spot instances are used so that that's the thing over here and these are kind of, of instances are cost efficient these are more uh, cheap uh, we can also use um, so yeah uh, so all, all of these are the uh, configuration for EC2 machines okay so we can select different type of um, GPU sorry different type of storage so we can say like how much storage amount do you need maybe like 100 GB or maybe more than that even 100 terabytes so let's go for GB right now and yeah uh, these are optional do you want to also account for the cost of monitoring like you know the cost of cloud watch and stuff uh, cost of data transfer and other additional costs let's see like licensing cost maybe like you are running a software that is uh, that you need to pay uh, inside an EC2 machine then you need to you, you can also account for those kind of uh, software over here uh, let's save this uh, and add the service again. so we add our EC2 machine already let's go to uh, let's add on our next one our S3 bucket uh, I'm just gonna configure it uh, let's say we wanna have different uh, tiering in enabled so like infrequent access s3 could be there or maybe like one zone let's say one zone and we also need a deep glacier for our archiving purpose okay uh, so this one uh, is gonna be not in london but let's say i want my storage to be uh, in the us north virginia uh, yeah so how much storage are you planning like this could be the estimation right so per month or let's say i'm gonna go for 5 tb so yeah and our cost would be monthly uh 117 usd yeah you, you so you, you can select like how what is the configuration of s3 it's gonna be as per estimation and then it will in enable you to calculate the cost again so we're not we're not gonna go deep into all of these things um, so this is only like if you are using uh, infrequent access then how much of the data storage is going to be over this particular um, this particular uh, standard of an S3 uh, bucket or different tier of S3 bucket I would say yeah and we also want to consider like uh, S3 bucket transfer cost so let's say um, to a different reason so it cost differently right so you can see this one is free this one is uh, 0 0.09 per zb so i'm just going to select this one and let's say i'm going to use i'm going to say like 100 zb going to be the transfer rate so the cost will be different now uh, right the save and service yeah so yeah uh, probably yeah, these are the only two things that i'm going to use for my cost estimation so let's be the summary now you get a general idea uh, so now you get the overall estimation cost uh, let me just export it to a pdf so this will be a report so this may take some time so uh, why is this use useful right so you can use it for your cost estimation your budgeting your planning you can also use it uh, like if you are a financial person in a team then you can estimate uh, the financial cost and generate a report uh, like this might be our uh, future prediction for like let's say next quarter next two quarters of our s for our aws um, billing yeah so generally this is what the calculator is used for so you can see this is the report that we are getting and the total cost would be uh, this in a 12 month monthly cost would be this and this are gonna cost for amazon s3 and ec2 machine depending upon the configuration that we have mentioned so yeah this is all about the um, cost calculation in aws so it is a pricing calculator thank you